In Kenya, dairy farming is practiced in small scale. This has created job opportunities and hence improving livelihoods. On our show today, we visit Nelson Silma, a dairy farmer in Wasingishu County, who is rearing five highly productive cows in his quarter acre piece of land. The administrative police officer by profession kicked off this venture three years ago with four ushers and one fresh and breed cattle. Saisi, wale ngombe niko nao wengi ni aina ya Asia. Asia ndio nimeifurahia sana ngawa niko na fresh and moja ambaye ni huyu. Pia najaribu kuona production yake sichakaa naye sana. Lakini huwa pia napenda fresh sababu basiwa yake huwa ni mingi kidogo kuliko ya Asia. Lakini sababu ya challenges kama chakula ndio huwa na prefer Asia kidogo. Sababu huwa nakula kidogo but bande ya masiwa pia si kama. Before venturing into dairy farming, there are key factors to consider. One of the major ones is breed selection. This is because different breeds adapt to different ecological conditions. The Asha breed is large with an average live weight of 450 kilograms. It is highly adaptable to harsh weather conditions and its color is brown with white patches in almost equal amounts with some cows tending to dark mahogany color. Its average milk yield is 30 liters per day with a high butterfat content and they are relatively resistant to diseases. Jassy can be reared in cool climate. Their body size ranges from small to medium with an average weight of 350 kilograms. They are light brown in color and have a black nose bordered with a white muzzle. This breed gives 20 liters of milk per day, which is of high quality and has a butterfat content of 5.2%. They stay in the herd longer than any other dairy breed and they have black feet that are much less prone to lameless. The Gansi breed is best reared in central region and parts of Rift Valley. It is a medium average weight cow with 400 to 500 kilograms. Its body color varies from yellow to reddish brown with white patches. This breed provides about 25 liters per day and has a moderate butterfat content of 4.3%. Ganse reaches reproductive maturity at an early age and calve at 22 months of age. This provides an early return on investment and they are adaptable to all climates. Frisian breed is best for the Kenyan Highland areas. They have a large body with an average weight of 500 to 550 kilograms. They are high milk producers with a potential of 40 to 60 liters a day with low butterfat content. They are black and white with short haired coat and short horns. Frisian cows are heavy feeders and are prone to milk diseases if not well managed. Nelson elaborates why he chose to rear the two breeds. Hapa kwa hii shamba tunatumia AI ambayo tunapewa na kampuni ya Brookside ambao mali tuna supply masiwa. Huwa wana tunawaita wanakuja wanapandisha ngombe ndio tuweze kupata hizo ndama. Hao ngombe huwa analisha na chakula ina tofauti wana tumia mahindi lesha yako ambayo ni silage pia natumia hay ambayo ni nyasi lesha yako ama mahindi ile kauka nachanganya kwa pamoja naweza kuongeza madini aina ya chumfi ambayo ni ya masiwa na hiyo ingine ubande wa dairy meal ambayo ninasaidia ubande wa masiwa Naweza kupea ngombe kila ngombe kilo mbili kwa siku. Na ngombe saisi wanakamuliwa wote na kila ngombe kwa siku inaweza kutolea lita 20 na masiwa. 
Many agricultural experts compare a dairy cow to a factory. That means what is fed to the cow determines to a large extent the quality and quantity of milk produced. It is from the feeds that a dairy cow derives energy for maintenance, growth, milk production and reproduction. It is therefore important that a farmer knows the nutritional requirements of a dairy cow to provide adequate rations to meet its production and reproductive requirements. Frisian huwa wanagula sana lakini kulingana na huyu ni ile medium frisian ambayo huwa haikuli sana. Frisian yenyewe original ambayo si chafuka hapa huwa wanagula chakula mingi kukombea na Asia. Asia huwa wanakula although they are eating continuously si kama frisian. Asia unakula kidogo na shiba anaenda anarudi anaendelea kula. So unaona hiyo chakula ni almost same. Chakula hii ya kawaita ambaye ni silage na hiyo hey nimechanganya huwa inapewa mara mbili asubuhi na jioni. Na pia wakati wameshia kula hiyo sasa ni daily meal wa, wanapewa kama top up after that wamekula wanamwajua juu ya chakula naendelea kukula hizo ndio waweze kuja kukamuliwa after chakula kuisha tena jioni wanapewa kingine so ni mara mbili kwa siku many parts of Kenya undergo severe drought and many dairy farmers experience a significant decrease in milk production due to the resultant drop in fodder production Although producing own fodder crops for animals is known to cut costs, many small-scale dairy farmers in Kenya steer away since this requires huge chunks of land and takes time to grow. Nelson has however taken this alternative feeding method that comes in handy during the dry seasons. What tunafanya ile hali ya kusto ama kuwezesha kuweka chakula ambayo tutatumia wakati ya kiangazi kama sasa EA tunakata wakati huwa mfua ni mingi tunakata tunaikausha tunaweka kwa store pia mahindi ikiwa mbichi tunaikata ikiwa kwa shamba tunafa, tunaweka kama silage ambayo tuna ferment tunaweka kwa shimo ambayo tuna store for wakati ile ya dry season tunaweza kutoa kutumie tuweze kulisha ngombe zetu Milk comprises almost 90% water, thus having a major effect on milk production. When you provide a proper fresh water supply, cows drink more, eat more and produce more milk. For every liter of milk produced, a cow needs to drink at least 3 liters of water. For high performing cows, if you reduce the amount of water, you reduce the amount of milk a cow produces. Apart from good milk production, water helps to regulate the body temperature of a cow, growth, digestion, reproduction, metabolism, lubrication of joints, excretion, and boost eyesight. <laughs> Different designs for housing and handling facilities are suitable for small-scale dairy farming operations, taking into consideration the weather, landscape, and availability of feed and pasture. A cow needs space to lie down. One should construct a number of cubicles enough to be occupied by animals most of the time. Farmers should ensure that each cow has their own place in the resting area called a cubicle. The cubicles must be covered with a roof made of iron sheet, grass thatch or makuti. The roof must be high enough so that it cannot be eaten by a cow if it is made of grass or if hay is stored under it. <laughs> 